All right, hey Leo, so we're doing a no contact read for you guys and it's a 30 day intention on from when you see this. All right, so you're gonna know this is your read by your energy currently and how you feel about the person on your mind. Otherwise, check your moon rising or Venus placement. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you subscribe and stick around if you like my energy. And over on Facebook is where I do my reels, my oracle card readings, um, my live readings. And the other readings um, regarding love that don't get put on um, YouTube. So anyways, check me out over there too. All right, we're going to start with your energy. Your energy. Look at that. Showing up in your own energy. <clears throat> All right, you got your two of swords coming through. You got your six of swords coming through. I feel like you guys are trying to uh, move past some negative energy, right? Um, you got your Knight of Wands in reverse. And I feel like that w the energy with the Knight of Wands, it could just be that you're feeling like all over the place right now. Maybe unsure of what to do um, when it comes to the connection on your mind. Okay. I just, I, I don't know what, what to say about this energy. The Two of Wands, I mean, that is about creating something special with somebody. And it could be at one point in time, you felt like you were creating um, um, the exact the, the exact empire that you want to build this is about it's a card about empires it's a card about building it's a card about being proud of what you've laid down right um when it comes to, to foundation so it could just be that the separation is causing you to kind of question um what you were dealing with okay um with the two of swords too it could just be that energy of i don't want to think about it right now i just want to put my head down i want to keep going and i want to keep moving forward okay so some of you guys could be um, dealing with a situation that uh you're not sure if you want it back yet. You could just be coming here to see what's going to happen with this person, what their energy is. Um, and it could just be that you're here to see if something in the in the long term aspect um, propels you and this person forward, right? Um, but let's see how it is you feel about this person. How do you feel about the person on your mind? All right. Gosh, look at that. The Knight of Swords. You guys are, you guys are, it's like this energy is almost mirroring, right? The Ten of Swords. Oh my God. I feel like you, I feel like you're just really conflicted about this person. I feel like you're not ready for it to be over with. Um, you know, the Five of Swords coming through in reverse. That's all about resolutions, um, co conflict and resolutions. I think I said re resolution that I say, re I don't know what I said. <laughs> anyway, um, the five of swords, that's a, it's a conflict and resolution. So where you found conflict with this person, I feel like you do want to resolve it and you do want to see things moving forward, um, with this person. Now the chariot card also showed up in reverse and it could, the instant feeling that I got was I, it's like this person might be moving on or maybe you're thinking that they've moved on. Um, Okay, they've acted out of haste, you know, with the Knight of Swords. They made a decision very, very hasty. They, they wasted no time making this decision um, to peel back their energy or move away from you and the connection. I feel like maybe you guys are really confused about what's going on with this person. All right, out of left field. What the hell happened, right? Um, so let's just see who we're talking about here. What is their energy? What is this person's energy? I feel like you're just kind of saying they're moving on and I don't know why. What, where it came out of nowhere. And maybe some of you guys do know. All right, but I kind of feel like there's a lot of questions. There's more questions than answers. Their energy. So we have the world card coming through. I, I liken that to Capricorn. You got Aries coming through with the Queen of Wands um, and the Wheel of Fortune card. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune card, I feel like it could apply to Scorpio, Taurus, uh, Aquarius, Sagittarius. So they could be any of, of those signs. Um, and their energy. Okay, so what I'm going to say is this. Um, the will of fortune card is that sudden change. This is somebody making a, it's somebody who's definitely made a sudden decision. And I feel like the world card is, you know, to, to whatever, for whatever reasons they have pulled their energy back. Um, I feel like it was sudden that's sudden happenings. All right. But it's the will of fortune. It's not the tower. Um, you know, and it could just be too, that this is needed. That it needs a reset and maybe you guys can, Maybe you guys can um, 
accept that or acknowledge that maybe the connection needed a reset. Okay. I feel like you're, you're like, what the hell happened? And I feel like this person's like, I mean, just standing in their power and I don't know what happened. You guys, I don't know what you did or, or what they did. Um, you know, the queen of wands energy is, is that is somebody who is, it's, I don't know. I don't want to say it's my way or the highway, but I'm kind of feeling that energy from the queen of wands in this drop for some reason. Um, so if you weren't complying or you weren't doing things to what they needed you to facilitate, I feel like that could be part of the reason why they've closed the door on this um, situation right here. I feel like you guys might be, be dealing with a, a my way or the highway. You guys could be more open minded or it could be too that everything was working just fine. But it's like for sudden reasons and purposes, this person wants to close the door and possibly you guys are going to know exactly why this person chose to um, close the door. I feel like... Um, it could just be very, very unexpected. Okay. Um, so let's see what is preventing them from no contact at this point. What is preventing this person from no contact? We have the page of um, wands coming through. We got the lover's card showing up right here. So we have the hierophant, the page of... So here's the lover's card did show up in reverse. Um, it does not have to represent people. The lover's card in reverse is about choices. Okay. Um, so if what's preventing contact from right now, why is there no contact? I feel like they're just trying to find a sense of security and peace right now. Um, that's what I'm seeing. This is not negative energy. Um, maybe the balance between yours and their energy is really off right now. And so they're taking time away to find some sort of peace and they're making the conscious choice to find peace while being at a distance from you. Okay, so I've only done one other read where I felt like the Zodiac was might have been the causing factor of the separation. And I'm almost feeling like it could be that your Zodiac may be the causing factor of the separation if this is not a rolls reverse or a cross watcher here. Um, so and sometimes, you know, we kind of have to admit um, our own mistakes. You know, I think that we're, we all make mistakes. We all do. So let's just see um, how this person is feeling about you right now. How this person is feeling about you. Oh, so we have the Knight of Cups coming through. Knight of Cups coming through in reverse. That could just refer to um, it's not a lot of action, uh, maybe a lot of talking and, and a little bit of action because the Knight of Cups um, is the it's the it's the one knight that comes through with an empty cup. So maybe empty promises, um, stuff like that. Okay, um, it could be that that's one of the the. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then it doesn't get done. All right. But I mean, overall, the energy is, it's not so bad. You know, you got your um, king of swords coming through, which is somebody who's very honest and trustworthy. Um, you know, we have the empress card showing up, which is that soulmate energy, somebody who can provide abundance and love. Um, maybe you guys are, are just, maybe it's just the wrong time. Maybe wrong time is coming through here. Um, the Empress card is a card of abundance, new beginnings, it's love, it's joy, it's happiness. Um, and this person I just feel is truly seeing you as somebody that's very good. So hopefully for whatever you guys um, got going on, it, everything ends up, everything ends up coming back together. Um, you got your 1111 energy through the four of wands. This is house and home. It's marriages, it's happiness, it's stability. Um, so I'm going to say this for whatever has happened. I'm going to tell you, this person does have a lot of love for you. Um, so let's just see if this is going to be somebody that comes back into your life. This is a 30 day reading. So if you've had no contact, um, for a little bit, I feel like you guys, you got your communication card coming through with the magician. Um, you got your three of swords coming through and you got your ace of swords also showing up right here, which is a depiction of new beginnings. So it might just take this person coming out of some sort of heartbreak or, or heartache or loss, um, I don't even see like negative energy. I feel like you guys are the ones kind of racking your brain about what's happened here. What, what happened? Um, and this person could have made decisions out of hastiness or being rash, right? Um, this is a wish fulfillment. So this is where the, the ships come back in. This is the return. Um, you know, that is your desires. And I feel like there is going to be a spot that opens for you guys to break. And you got the magician card. You got the, the empress card. Magician card, um, is divine masculine. Um, him and the high priestess get together, um, uh, get pregnant through the empress and they become the emperor and the empress. So you got like divine counterpart energy showing up here, Leo. So if you guys are thinking it's over, I don't quite think so. All right. So let's just see what the long-term potential is for you guys. When this makes its way back around, what is the long-term potential? All right. 
So we have the Knight of, I'm going to say this, there might be a lot that needs to be repaired before you guys can actually see the long term. Um, especially don't try to force something that doesn't have um, the healing components, you know, attached to it. Um, this doesn't show destiny right now, but it could just be that you guys are going through, you guys got to get over the, the first wave of whatever rough patch you're going through in order to see the next step. Um, but it doesn't mean there won't be communication that's happening with you guys. Um, maybe even talking about what actually caused the, the separation. Um, I feel like you, Leo, have things you got to get off your chest. And so it might be up to you or on you to talk about those things or to ask about those things as to why this person is just kind of, I just feel like they're just gone, right? So um, initials, we have E, P, I, and this could be yours or theirs, um, X, S, and Y. Um, and keep in mind, if the initials don't show up, uh, it doesn't mean that it's not your read, you guys. The energy comes through the cards. So Leo, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I'm sending you so much love. I'm going to tell you guys this. Have patience on this one because I feel like there's a lot of love that's um, exchanged between you and this person on your mind. Um, so just keep your chin up. All right, you guys take care.